Hello, my name is Joel. I'm a badminton coach, and Badminton a Minute provides useful information in a concise video of about a minute long. And today, we're going to talk about the boundaries in a doubles scheme. So I'm going to cover a few things today. First, I'm going to cover the boundaries during service. The second one, I'm going to cover the boundaries during the rally. I'm going to talk to you about who should be serving and what happens if you lose a point, win a point, whether there is a service over or not. So the first point is about the doubles service boundary. Okay, so you see this circle over here, if you have this person serving over there diagonally, this highlighted portion is where you are allowed to serve to. It includes the sideline, but it doesn't include the back line. For the doubles rally gameplay, see if your partner behind you is the one smashing, you can smash anywhere in these highlighted boundaries. Okay, it includes the sideline and the back line. Next, if you are the person serving and during the gameplay you win a point, you change court and you retain the service like that. But if you are the one serving and you lose a point, then the service goes over to your opponent. And now if the opponent is the one serving and you are the one receiving the service, if you win a point, the service goes over to your side, right? whether it's you or your partner. And if you are the one receiving the service, but your opponent wins the point, then you don't have to move, your opponent will switch court and they will continue the service. Right? On your side, just the person receiving the service changed. Okay, so that's all that I want to share with you today regarding the double service boundary. Let me know what would you like me to cover in the next video and click like, subscribe and notify. See you guys.